Hi, it's me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alex, what, what time of year is it today? It's, uh, it's the annual... Great Unhauling. Yeah. And how many books are we unhauling today? Approximately, Kieran. Over 200 7, books. <laughs> so, yeah, somewhere between 200 and 7,000 books. Now, number 72, but, you know, clickbait. Hey, so, this is why I said we should just hold the camera. But I would wobble, Kieran. You, you just want to knit, really, don't you, behind the camera? Mm. No. Does it matter that there's a bit of the light? Is it like, is it like a metaphor for something? Uh, we're going to go through one by one. Um, and we're going to be putting them in big boxes to give away. Uh, the spirit of the season. That's what it's all about. First of all, we have Bohumil Hrabble's All My Cats. Read it? Uh, I've read it and reviewed it. Um, if oh, you join yeah. the... Uh, Booker Boy Book Club as a uh, coffee member. You can actually uh, see the review of this. Alex, what do you think of All My Cats? What uh, type of emotions does it stir within the person? Uh, worry, fear, and trepidation. There's a lot of death in this and a lot of animal abuse. Oh, I'm, There's yeah, that. I'm glad we're getting rid of that one then. Uh, we have uh, the three books I bought from... Uh, Carl Uwe Knausgaard's My Struggle uh, that the library couldn't get. I was mostly too, uh, too, I was too hasty. I wanted them like now. I've now finished the series in its completion, so I don't need this in my life anymore. And this is, this is what I want to say. Um, some people's libraries and collections. The baby's awake. Oh. Babies asleep. Some people view their libraries or collections of books as like extensions of themselves, Alex. And for me, I don't want mine to be a what have I read. I want mine to be a, a reflection of the reader I want to become. Mm. The journey of what is to be beholden through cracking the spines of really adventures awaited. I have upset the baby once again. I've never known you crack a spine, except for the Yeah, I don't. Hi, hi, we're, we're back. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, you I don't crack spines. You don't crack spines. I don't crack spines. I'm also getting rid of uh, Jonathan Strange on Dr. Morell, which I picked up from the free library around the corner two weeks ago. I've decided, nah. And we have um, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Badbury. Um, R.C. Walden did such a bad job retelling this, I've decided to skip out on the original. <laughs> we have Ali Smith, Hurricane Season by Fernanda Melchor. Alex, did you know that uh, Fernanda Melchor saw my review and actually, you know, reshared it out? Wow, that's cool. Well, that is it, pretty cool. Was it a good review? It was. You could imagine if it was a really bad one. <laughs> like, you shouldn't read that. She was like, this guy's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so why are you getting rid of it? Why are we getting rid of it? Because... I've read it, and I would rather pass it to people who could read this rather than hoard it to myself. I'm against NFTs, and I want to be just, I just want to be a fungible token. Fungible? <laughs> what is fungible? You're clearly not part of the metaverse. <laughs> you absolutely thicko. <laughs> what is it to do with funguses? It, it means that, like, everyone can have it. So, like... Cauliflower is a fungible item. People can buy cauliflowers, but non-fungible would be like, this is a cauliflower preserved in Andy Warhol's pee. And there's only one that would be non-fungible. You bought three cauliflowers on the weekend. I you? did buy three cauliflowers on the weekend. And I also bought Duck's Newbury Port. Did you read that? I, I, do you know what, Alex? I did, and I threw a cinnamon bun at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all we have to say. A similar vein to A Hurricane Season, um, Animalia by Jean-Baptiste Del Amo. Thought it was really good. Yeah. A lot of pig vulva. Oh. And I just want to share that with the world. Something that doesn't need to be shared, and I just want it out of my possession, is Frankenstein in Baghdad by Ahmed Sawadi, which was horrendous. Boy Part was also horrendous. Hmm. Do you like American Psycho, Alex? Not 
Imagine that, but worse. That's by parts. You're welcome. The Googie Wathiongo, Wizard of the Crow, which I thoroughly enjoyed for 50 pages. And then the rest of it, I decided, maybe not. So we have Carol Matthews, a compromising <laughs> position. Alexandra, who, um... Any... <laughs> I mean, it was it was now. past you, Alexandra. Yes. And you have decided. Well, I'm not very good at saying no to things. You're not very good at saying no to things. So I spared the feelings. I, maybe I would have liked it. I don't know. Parallel universe. Perhaps. Perhaps, but in this universe, you are fungible. In this universe, I apparently don't have time to read things anymore. Don't have time to read things. You know who also doesn't have time to read things? Kate Tao, she didn't read Island of Dr. Moreau. And that's why I'm getting rid of Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gascon. <laughs> uh, Dante's Inferno. That's the Divine Comedy. That is... Oh, yeah, well, I mean, a third of it was Dante's Inferno. And maybe that's the bit I'm getting rid of. I'm not. I've just... I picked up a different translation. I prefer it. So, sadly... It's got a nicer cover, do you mean? It has got a nice cover. And also, it has a nicer rhyme. Because this one... Sounds rhyme. Ah. I'm a sucker for a rhyming couplet. Stick a heroic couplet at the end. Oh boy, you got me. Um, this book I'm getting rid of always surprises me by how big it is. It's Watership Down by What's Richard Adams. Traipsing around Waterstones to track that one down. I wonder. Well, maybe we'll find it in the free library next week, eh, Alex? <laughs> uh, Welsh selected stories. By Rhys David and Margaret Evans. Um, I like that cover. It's a lovely cover. Um, I just don't read short stories, so someone else will enjoy them. I, uh, Eric Nagale, I'm just not going to read it. Th there we go. I don't, I don't really know what it was about. A publisher sent it to me, which was very nice of them. Um, it's a memoir, and I just don't read memoirs. Um, oh, you've read this book, Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> What's it about, Alexandra? Couldn't tell you. Alex is, um, Alex has read The Catcher in the Rye, but has no recollection of it. No. Whatsoever. No. And I read it. I think it's good. I'm particularly, I'm not very good at remembering things in general, but I was particularly good at forgetting that. I would say exceptional, expertly. Yeah. Sometimes I can't even remember the title. <laughs> you can't. You just go, what's that book? And I go, oh, it's uh, Catcher in the Rye. I thought it was good. Got uh, Kushwan Singh's Train to Pakistan. Very good book. Was going to review it. I just don't know how to. So I've just decided maybe I'll just spread on the love. The Blue is Die by Toni Morrison. I love this book. I'm pretty sure we kept that because we thought I might read it one day. Are you going to read it one day? I don't know. And thus... Yeah. Well, check the free library next week, Alexandra. It <laughs> might be you. there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to reread it. And I just thought, you know what? It's, it's in here. My heart. You're not really a rereader. I'm not you? a rereader in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we have Self by Jan Martel. I finished Life of Pi and I was like, oh, I'll buy all the other Mar Jan Martels. And then I never read them. So he can go. The Jeff Vandermeer trilogy, which I'm working my way through. Finished this one uh, two weeks ago. Just was three weeks ago. Got to order the third book. But, um,. Yeah, I've read them, so... We, we, so you're not even keeping them so you can watch them about in a video? No, Alexandra, I, I don't need uh, swag points on you. I'm, I'm not you known sure? for swag. Um, <laughs> are you sure? Do you think I need swag? I don't know. I think I have swag. That's on man tits. Um, but I'm not going to have, um, as of next week, a tangy by Whitty Imera, which is the first ever Maori novel. The first ever? The first ever. Guess what year, Alexandra? I, I couldn't. G guess. I really couldn't. I will just embarrass myself, Kieran. I don't think you will embarrass yourself. I think you'll have a spot on. No. Say 1994. 1994. 1973, Alexandra. <laughs> <laughs> you'll say, Jose. You have Sarah Margo. Uh, all the names. I picked it up from a free library last week and I've decided, nah. Dead Souls by Nikolai Gogol. The pinnacle of Russian literature. If you've read a Russian book, Alex, this um, comes up in there. Huh. They're like, oh, you should read it. It's really good. And guess what, Alex? It is. It's horrendous. It was boring. Don't know why they keep referencing that. We have Freshwater by Akweki Mezi. I have bought this book 
three times and still not read it. And I think that is a sign that I'm just not going to read it. We have The Bone People by Kerry Hume, winner of the man Booker. Such an ugly cover. Is I, I bought a it different cover. Me, I it. bought a different cover of it, which is much nicer. Um, uh, this only cost me 50 pence. Uh, I think people should read it. She's fallen out of bed. Oh, no, has she actually? Another intermission. Hi, we're back. We chose a really good evening. We've chosen a great evening. Uh, I would have chained up the piles a bit. We have uh, Brenda Lozano's Loop. <laughs> she just hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just propel that. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it, I have nothing to say. Um, this is What We Do by Tom Hansen, which was given to me by the lovely Charlotte from Call You Read, and said this is the worst book she's ever read, and it was. She's awake again. She oh. fell out again. Oh, gosh. Hi, another <laughs> division. Um, yeah, uh, Charlotte said this is the worst book she's ever read, and I agree. Wow. Not that I agree that it's her. We have You Were Another Murthy, a lovely New York review of books editions. Very good mm. book. Want to pass that love on? Nice and easy. Jody Pico, The Book of Two Ways. I picked this up from a free library uh, <laughs> two weeks ago for Alex. And Alex is not going to read it. Is that correct? Yeah. And if you want it, check out the free library <laughs> in no Tesco. Because no you. We have Alice Walker, The Colour Purple, a book I've held on to for six years. I will let him go. I will let it go of Victor Hugo, Les Mis. Some sucker will decide, oh, I'll have that. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> recently published, Where You Come From, by Alex. Would you like to try this uh, author's name for me? Denise? Denise. <laughs> Denise. <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's Sasha Stanisic. I can't say it myself. Or Denise, if, you are, if you're Alex. Um, this is a uncorrected proof. It's off a resale or quotation, but it doesn't say free library. So I'm taking that. Um, this was okay. It has a choose your own adventure at the end, which oh. was... Uh, audience participation. Stop. <laughs> it was his audience participation. Non-fiction? No, thank you. No, thank you. Lola by Emily Emily, the, 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 the Lola Quartet by Emily St. John Mandel. I feel like I've heard of her. Station Eleven. I, I don't know if that's right, is no, that? doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, sorry. doesn't mean it's not right, but... Last Night in Montreal, <laughs> The Singer's Gun, Lola Quartet, and Station Eleven. Hmm. Uh, Charlotte sent me this. I tried it. And I put it down for eight months. So I thought that's, that's a good enough sign. We have Bear by Marion Engel, sent to me by Anna Wallace Johnson from NYC. And I'm, I want to pass this into someone else's hands. Because Alex, would you read a, a short little book about a librarian? Why? Who wants to be penetrated by a bear? Nope. Someone might, and they might be a sucker, the same person who will pick up Lamez will pick up that. We have Conception by Osgur Uyanik, a mate of mine. Yeah. Give it away. <laughs> that sounds really hard. That, that sounds really heartless. Yeah, it does a but bit. I want, yeah, but I want, to, I want to pass it on to people. If I, want to, if I need another copy, I'll buy it. I will support the author. But let's, someone might see that and go, well, I've never heard of that before. And I'll tell all their friends. At the Patient Stone. By Atik Rahimi, also known as Sangi Sabo. Why has it got a weird cover on? Why has it got a weird cover on? Yeah, it's uh, got like a library cover. Because it was a library book, it was discarded. Um, oh, if they have a special stamp, it says discarded. Yeah, I know, it, it's the Winter Park Public Library. Oh. I wonder where that's from. Recommend you check it out. We have The Forest of the Hang by Liviu Rebenu. It's a World War One novel set in Romania, but I read Crime and Punishment. Imagine Crime and Punishment mixed with Logan Paul's forest say that's fiasco. What it made me think of. Imagine those two combined. That was that. Didn't think much of it. I had nothing to say. 
of Babies Awake again. Carol Matthews, you woke the baby up. <laughs> you started too soon. <laughs> this is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and I wish this book never existed because I hated every moment of it. It's about a person who thinks, I, who cares? Who cares what they think? Salman Rushdie, I care what Salman Rushdie thinks, but I do not care about this book, but it has assassin gardeners, so if you like country file, <laughs> <laughs> and you really like the Hitman franchise, this is the book for you. When Alex saw this book, she thought it was called Cash in the Attic, <laughs> but it's called Buddha in the Attic, and it's going to go in someone else's attic. Find a do local free library. Um, we have the Communist Manifesto because I think everyone needs a cheery read at time. Ken Follett, the Pillars of the Earth. It rubbed off. Um, I really like this. It's about a man who builds a cathedral, but like it's way better than that. But that is literally what it's about. Uh, the Passion of New Eve. I love this book. I had that for young. I well, fun fact. I had the same copy, Yonks, and then I gave it to someone. I was like, I want a copy for myself. And I bought this two years ago. And I've gone, you know what? It's in my heart. This book will never leave me. If someone says, what's the best Angela Carter? I'm going to say this book. And I will talk about all the wonderful, bizarre things that happen in here. But I'll, I'll let someone else read it and be scarred for life. We have Alexander Solzhenitsyn. I love Solzhenitsyn. And it's a very lovely cover and someone will go, I'll read that, that looks really fun and nice. Um, and it's not, it's about the gulag, it's very sad. The cover, Alex. It's a nice blue. It's a lovely blue. We got Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Manters. One of your faves. One of my faves, but I bought the, the new editions because they're nicer. Um, so I'll get rid of the old original OG copy I bought, Alex. OG. Uh, similarly, uh, Louise Erdich's The Night Watchman, which, oh, has the baby awake again? No, that was a train. Oh. <laughs> My supporters chose this book for me to read, and I reviewed it. If you support me on coffee, links down below, you can watch this. Um, most, the, the most recent book to win the Pulitzer, and I think it was justly deserved. You, why do you sound like you're lying? What do you mean? <laughs> it was really good. It had ghosts. The ghosts didn't work all the time. But it was good. Cool. <laughs> Just testing. <laughs> Just thanks, Alex. <laughs> we got Cloud of Sparrows by Takashi Matsuoka. Oh, I feel like that's been hanging around for ages. Mark Hooker. Oh, yeah. This is Mark Hooker's favourite book. Alex, who's Mark Hooker? <laughs> A man... Kieran used to work with. That. He was super cool. He was so cool. He was one of the coolest people I've ever vaguely met. You met him twice. Kissed me on the cheek once. He, he said congratulations for giving birth. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Hooker was one of the smooth... Oh, I... He was smooth. He had red leather seats in his car. He did have red leather seats. He was great. He was so cool. Apart from when... He said, oh, I'll take you out for me, la la la. Oh, yeah. And then, um. <laughs> and then literally just forgot his wallet and went, oh, can you pay for it? Which we couldn't. Which we couldn't, we couldn't afford. But it was for Mark Hooker, Alex. Can't say no to Mark Hooker. Well, no, you couldn't because you'd have eaten your food. I did, I did eat my food at that point and I had my wallet on me. Oh, do we get rid of it? This is a piece of Mark Hooker. <laughs> Mark Hooker bought this for me. Yeah. Do we say, Mark Hooker, you survived the unhauling. Wow. There's one person who can. It's Mark Hooker. It's Mark Hooker. Yeah. I don't think this is mine to give away. No. We have A Thousand Paper Birds by Tor Udal. Adal? Adal? Is that mine? That is yours. Gosh. I think I started it and didn't like it. Similarly to um, Bring Up the Bodies, I'm getting rid of the mirror and the light. Shocker. It's just a lot of space, isn't it? It's huge. It's huge. And if it fell on your head one day, you'd be sad. Oh, mate, I'd cry for at least 10 hours. <laughs> Here, you do know there's a really creepy doll <laughs> just lying there. <laughs> 
Uh, we have uh, one of my favourite books of all time, The Overstory, by Richard Powers. This will go to someone and they will change their life. I like a tree, Alex. Sometimes you need to cut them down in order to, to grow. And I need to remove myself from the canopy in order to become... Fulfilled, thank you. Tall Bones by Anna Bailey. I read this um, for the Brighton Book Club, which I was a guest on the radio. Uh, not my cup of tea, but if you like a thriller. I was going to say it looks like a thriller with cover. Thriller, church, ooh, what's going on there? This would be for you, but this has done its time in my house. Look at the, ooh, doesn't that, ooh, isn't that nice? Mm. Not my cup of tea. Please. Not my cup of tea. I know it will be someone else's cup of tea. Therefore, they shall Drink have it. a cup of tea. Uh, si Pam Zhang, um, How Much of These Hills is Gold? I reviewed this and Si Pam Zhang said I, I was callous. <laughs> <laughs> the only author so far to say that I was mean. Aww. Do you feel um, bad about it? Do I feel... No. Book. Jan Martel's The High Mountains of Portugal, kind of similar to Life of Pi thing. I was like, oh, I'll buy all of the Jan Martel. There was a charge shop, like two quid. £2.49, actually, Alexandra. <laughs> the last two books. David Sedaris, The Best of Me. Bit of a comedy tickler. Someone will see this and go, oh, I love that. It's got deckled edges. People love a bit of decks, don't they? Yeah, I do. I don't. Um... And I'll give someone a laugh over the festivities. And then lastly, uh, my Why the Last Man collection. The oh. comics. Uh, I, I already got up to five. Thoroughly enjoyed them. And then comics were really expensive. So I stopped buying them. And I think after three years of not continuing with the series, uh, let's give someone a bit of a, a heads up. Can you not sell them? I could sell them, Alexandra, but isn't the spirit of Christmas to give? So those are the 71... No, because of Mark Hooker. 70 books unhauled in the great annual unhaul in. Well done. How do you feel, Alexandra? All right. Light. Light. I feel cleansed. Yes. Do you have any, um, like, a positive affirmation for anyone? Head down to your local free library. You never know. You never Change know. Your life. That is that. And so we'll say. Merry Christmas. Bye. Oh, yeah, Merry, oh, Merry Christmas. Okay, bye.